Welcome to the Blockchain Report, your daily rundown in the latest of crypto. My name is Taylor Nikolai. We've got a few blockchain news items for you today. First up, Binance's CEO says that the crypto market is still good and that trading volume is better than it appears. According to CCN, Binance CEO Chengpeng Zhao, aka CZ, believes that the cryptocurrency market is still rock solid despite the fall in prices since the beginning of January. He said that even though trading volume has fallen significantly, it's still better than a few years ago. CZ said, Compared to January, we are probably down 90%, so we only have one-tenth of the trading volume compared to what we had in January. But compared to like a year or two years ago, we're still trading at huge volumes. Business is still okay, we are still profitable, and we are still a very healthy business. CZ also clarified that the number of users on Binance has steadily increased since January, as well as the amount of people who have deposited Bitcoin. Next, the cryptocurrency exchange Ether Delta paid a $400,000 fine to the SEC. According to the Daily HODL, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, has announced that they've settled charges against Zachary Coburn. Coburn is the owner and founder of the Ethereum-based cryptocurrency exchange Ether Delta. The SEC charged Coburn with unlawfully running a securities exchange, as well as not registering with the SEC. Stephanie Avakian, who works with the SEC, said Ether Delta had both the user interface and underlying functionality of an online national securities exchange and was required to register with the SEC or qualify for an exemption. What makes this case interesting is that Ether Delta runs entirely on smart contracts, so it runs entirely on code. Next, the Singapore government developed a blockchain-based token system. According to NewsBTC, a trading platform was created between the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, and Singapore Exchange, SGX. The aim of the platform is to enable the settlement of tokenized securities among different blockchain platforms. MAS Chief Fintech Officer Sopentu Mohanty said, this project has demonstrated the value of blockchain technology and the benefits it can bring to the financial industry in the short to medium term. The concept of asset tokenization, as well as other learnings gleaned from this project, can potentially be applied to a broad spectrum of the economy, creating a whole new world of opportunities. Tinku Gupta, head of technology for SGX, meanwhile said, we are delighted to drive this important industry effort to accelerate innovation in the marketplace based on the unique methodology SGX developed to enable real-world interoperability of platforms as well as the simultaneous exchange of digital tokens and securities we have applied for our first ever technology patent. Next, BAT is crashing. Try Brave. It's faster, safer, and ad-free. According to CCN, the whole crypto market dropped a whopping $6 billion over a 48-hour period, but nothing was hit harder in the marketplace than the Ethereum-based BAT, or Basic Attention Token. BAT, which is an Ethereum-based ERC token, fell a whopping 18%. BAT's recent rally in the marketplace was due to its addition to the Coinbase Pro platform. About a week later, the basic attention token became available on Coinbase.com. It looks like crypto investors bought the rumor and sold the news, leading to its crash. And finally on today's show, IBM says that blockchain can power open scientific research. Coindesk reports that in a new patent filing, the process of scientific research can be helped by blockchain technology. Utilizing the Watson Research Center, the application states that tracking research will be more fluid across institutional borders. The patent calls it a tamper-resistant log of scientific research. The filing states, the blockchain system can form a blockchain representing a research project, wherein the blockchain comprises a first block of research data and a second block of analysis data, representing a log of an analysis performed on the research data. Summary blocks and correction blocks can also be added to the blockchain representing the post-analysis of the research results. If you are counting at home, there were five blocks in that sentence. There are limited platforms for sharing scientific research, so this is an awesome way of using the blockchain. Thanks for watching the Blockchain Report. My name is Taylor Nikolai. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest crypto news and trends, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Blockchain Report. We'll see you tomorrow.